Kennedy Simone here and I am back again with another video. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Subscribe to be a part of Ken's crew because we're the best crew. And you know, turn on your post notifications so you know every time I post a new video. I was just really talking fast right there. So as you can tell from the title, this is going to be a what you need for your college dorm room, shopping, packing for college, all that jazz. So yeah, I know everybody's, you know, looking at, you know, back to school stuff, shopping for their dorm room and wondering what they need for college. Because I know I was there last year as a incoming freshman wondering what am I going to pack? Am I going to remember everything? And I got some stuff for you guys that you probably might not know or might forget. So definitely, you know, take out your notebooks, your pencil, your pad, your notes, and your iPhone. And we got to make a little list, you know, because this is what you really need for your college dorm room. So yeah, let's just get right into the video. Okay, so I'm going to just put a picture on the screen of everything that I'm talking about so you guys can get a visual of everything. But yeah, let's just get into it, honey. Okay, so for the first thing, it's a mattress topper and a mattress pad. Bed sheets, all that kind of stuff. You probably already know that. But definitely, you need a mattress topper or a mattress pad. Or both, if that's a different thing. Um, yeah, definitely because these dorm rooms are not like your beds at home. They're not comfy. They're not soft. They're like prison cell beds. You definitely need a mattress topper or a mattress pad just to have like a different layer on top for you to sleep on and for you to be comfortable because you're going to be in your bed a lot and let's be comfortable. Let's, let's make it a home away from home. But yeah, I definitely recommend that. Strongly, strongly recommend that. <laughs> So the next item is if you have a TV or if you're bringing a TV, um, I would definitely recommend bringing a cable cord or a HDMI cord, something like that. Simply because the room does not come with cable cords or HDMI cords, any of that. So you need to bring all of that yourself. HDMI cord if you wanted to watch something from your laptop on the big TV. Or if you want to watch cable, you need a cable cord because your TV will not work with that one. So the next item is a power search outlet. You definitely want to bring this because there are limited amounts of outlets, especially for my dorm that I stayed in. It was very limited and like you definitely needed a power surge cord just because you are wanting to plug up more than three things at a time, like your lamp, then you have maybe your TV, your phone, your computer. You're going to need some extra, so definitely you want to have a power surge cord. So the next thing I would recommend is an under bed storage. Um, this is kind of different depending on how your room is set up. We had space to put things under our beds. We didn't have like drawers or anything underneath. But yeah, definitely bring one of those. Just like the thin long ones that you could put like extra toiletries or something. Or like extra bed sheets or extra school supplies. Just extras or something that you don't want to keep out or don't use too often, definitely you want to have an underbed storage so you can probably put it under there and it'll just be there real, real slim and you already know where it is. So the next thing I would recommend is a printer. I personally didn't have a printer just because we got $50. As Spelman students, we get $50 to print, I think a semester. I'm pretty sure a semester and $50 worth of printing is more than enough because it's 10 cents a page so you'll definitely be fine I'm pretty sure you are but it's just more convenient to have a printer in your room um I remember times that I really wish I had a printer in my room I didn't want to have to walk all the way to another building just to print something I needed you know on the spot so yeah I would definitely recommend a printer because I don't know what you know different things y'all have at y'all school so it would definitely help so the next thing very very essential shower shoes you need shower shoes especially if you have a communal bathroom and you have to share it with the whole floor or something you definitely want to have shower shoes even if you share it with one other person you don't know where other people have been body odors body toxins it's just nasty so we're gonna just want to have shower shoes um, also going off of that, a shower caddy, I would definitely say it's essential because you can have all of your stuff in there right away and you don't have to worry about carrying everything and your towel and your everything, 
you don't want to drop anything on the floors. So definitely a shower caddy is essential. Um, I'm definitely going to be coming out with a video about how to survive community style communal bathrooms. Um, definitely stay tuned for that. Subscribe so you won't miss it. But yeah, for all my people out there who has to stay in a dorm with communal bathrooms, I got you. I got you. So the next thing is a laundry bag. I would definitely recommend the one that you can carry on your back. Um, I didn't have that just because the one I got was a gift. So I was like, why buy another one whenever I have one that's free? But I definitely would recommend the ones with um, the backpack strap where you can like carry it like a backpack. I stayed on the second floor, so it was a struggle going all the way down to the basement and going all the way up the basement, up and down, back and forth, just because it's heavy. Especially if you wait a little longer than like a week, your clothes be piling up and it's heavy. And especially if some of them are wet, like your towels or something. You want to have a backpack or just something that's easier than just like the handle or like you have to carry it. Just because you'll, you'll thank me later, but the backpack ones really come in clutch for real. Trust me, trust me. <laughs> So the next item I would recommend are Tide Pods. I personally didn't have Tide Pods again because I got detergent. By the time I realized I should have got Tide Pods, I was like, well, oh well, I'll get them next semester. But Tide Pods, you can just bring a couple down there. You don't have to bring a whole thing of detergent. Detergent is heavy, especially if you have to carry your laundry basket. No, you want to have Tide Pods just because it's only you grab a couple put it in your pocket and then you don't have to worry about carrying your laundry bag not detergent in a laundry bag i don't know about you but i'm not a bodybuilder and that stuff gets heavy so definitely i would recommend disinfectant and clorox wipes if you want spray or clorox spray or disinfectant spray that works too but definitely the wipes are probably easier just because you don't have to get a paper towel and wet it and waste paper towels it's just all in one wipes are just easy and simple but yeah I would definitely recommend that especially when you're first moving in because you want to disinfect and clean everything before you start using it because you don't know who was living there before you you don't know if they cleaned it well enough so yeah you just want to make sure that you go and wipe everything and just periodically throughout the year you have little spills or you have clean up days where you want to deep clean your room or just make sure everything is always fresh and sanitary. Um, you definitely want to have disinfectant and Clorox wipes or spray for sure. So the next thing I would recommend is Tupperware or plastic containers and bowls and all that. Um, I know a lot of college students are probably going to eat noodles or ramen noodles or something. And you're going to need something to warm it up in. I would recommend the plastic containers or Tupperware with the lids on it. Um, just because if you want to, you know go to the cab maybe sneak a little something put it in your purse or your backpack and then go back to the room and heat it up and have it later because i know our cab hours are not the best like they close at like nine o'clock really 8 30 because they don't put any new food out but yeah we get hungry past nine o'clock i know we should stop eating at nine o'clock because you know healthy and stuff but no i get hungry especially if you have like an all-nighter or you're up late you're not an early sleeper you're going to get hungry or you're going to want to make some noodles and it's just easier to have that kind of stuff on hand. Trust me, it'll save you. So the next thing you're going to want to have is Febreze or air freshener of some sort. It gets a little stuffy, especially for us. Spelman doesn't have AC in like three of the freshman dorms and it gets a little stuffy. I'm not going to lie, especially when it like rains and you have to close your window. Everything is like stuck inside the dorm and it's like no like that's why we always kept our windows open or if you have food and ate in your room it's gonna smell like the food and you're not gonna want to smell that all day so you're gonna want to freshen the room up sometimes and also you know if somebody you know bombs the bathroom or the hallway or something you're gonna want to have air freshener or spray to try to cover and mask all of that <laughs> because it gets real <laughs> so the next thing is bug roach insect spray you're gonna want to have that because it's inevitable people are dirty not an excessive amount but i'm just saying you're gonna want to have that on hand because wasp or something i don't know it's always going to be some kind of little critters roaming around and you want to be prepared you don't want to have to run down the hall come back and then the bug is nowhere to be found and you're scared to sleep at night um yeah you don't want to do that 
Um, but yeah, I definitely recommend some kind of insect spray. Also, if you're in a warmer state like Atlanta, hot Atlanta, you might want to have like some bug spray, you know, for sometimes when you're going to be out all day or you know you're going to be outside for a long period of time. You don't want to have bug bites and all that kind of stuff. So definitely have some of that kind of spray too. So another thing I would recommend is medicine or like a first aid kit of some sort just because you never know. Like I got headaches so randomly sometimes. I would have stomach pain. Also just different stuff like vitamins if you take that. Band-aids you never know. You really never know. So a first aid kit would be ideal with some extra medicine on the side. Um, just to be prepared and so you won't go out sad and be struggling. So another thing I would recommend is command strips and command hooks. Um, I know for Spellman we could not, you know, damage the walls. So nails and all that kind of stuff we couldn't use because obviously that would damage the walls. So we only could use command strips and command hooks, stuff like that. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much what I hung up all my decorations and all that kind of stuff with. Um, I would definitely recommend those if you want to like put up stuff in your dorm. So another thing I would recommend is a reusable water bottle. Um, not too many, just probably one or two. Um, just because it comes to that time where it's like I need to go grocery shopping and get some more water. But I don't have it. But I have this water bottle that I can fill in the cab. Or I can fill at Lower Manly or something like that. You don't want to be out sad not having anything to drink. It's going to be those times. So definitely have that and you'll be good. So another thing is a desk lamp. Um, definitely I would recommend this just because it adds a little bit more light to the room. Um, I know we only have one little bitty light <laughs> in our room. And that's why I always kept my windows open just because it brought in more light. But also whenever your roommate is trying to sleep and like the big overhead light for your room is off, you probably would want to have a desk lamp so if you wanted to still study it won't be too harsh and it won't like disturb your roommate if she's trying to sleep or relax or something definitely have a you know desk lamp so now we're going into the things that aren't so much a need but I would really recommend so yeah let's get into those so it's only a few but I would recommend a calendar or a dry erase board it definitely keeps you organized definitely lets you see stuff every time you come in your room because it's right there on your wall or wherever you put it um, it's helpful and it's like easy because you can erase it and you can write a new month and new days of the week and new goals and all that kind of stuff so yeah I would definitely recommend a calendar or a dry erase board for your room another thing is a rug um, I really loved the rug that I had in my room just because it was so fuzzy and it made the room feel like home and like we didn't have carpet in our room so it was like cold getting out of bed and yeah I was like I need a rug also a blanket that would help with the cozy and homey feel and all that kind of stuff also I would recommend a mirror um, we actually had a mirror that came with the room but it had this bar in between so it's like if I ever wanted to take a picture I couldn't take it right there um, and we also had one right outside of our dorm so I really didn't need one but it also came in handy just because I didn't want to go outside of my room every time I needed to look in the full body length mirror so I had one and yeah I would definitely recommend it because not every school has that so check out your dorm room first to see if you really need a mirror but if you do it'll come in handy and last but not least my fave snacks and water and food all that stuff you definitely want to have that because it gets tough, you get hungry, the cat may not have food you like. So you always want to have something that you can rely on and something that you can eat just in case. Or if you don't want to go to breakfast, have this little bar or pop tart or something or just whatever. You just need snacks, water, food, all that kind of stuff. I know that, you know that, we all know that, but you're going to want to have it. So yeah, that's pretty much all for this video. I really hope this helped you guys. Definitely comment down below some more things that you feel like you need for your dorm room that I didn't cover. This is a family. We help each other out. So yeah, I just really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Definitely don't forget to follow me on my Instagram and subscribe to my channel because Ken's crew is the best crew. I can't say it enough. So yeah, I will see you guys in my next one. Bye! Kennedy, some more.